Okay, this is a short video, this is the Phantom 3 Standard. Um, we're going to fly it today, but I've just switched it on, and as you switch it on, you connect. This is a firmware update, which has to be done, or you can't do anything. So as soon as I switched my phone on and connected Wi-Fi to the Phantom 3, um, it says upgrade required. So what you have to do is when it's the upgrade required, you click here, download. So you have to disconnect from the Phantom 3's Wi-Fi and go to your normal Wi-Fi in your home, connect to that, download. And then you have to, once it's downloaded, reconnect back to the Phantom and then go upload. Now we've just been trying this and we've just put a 64 gig scan disk card in and it didn't recognize it. So I've just put in the 8 gig back in which came with the uh, Phantom 3 and that seems to work well. And you can hear it's doing the upgrade and we're at 53%. So make sure both your main battery is fully charged and your handset is fully charged. Uh, this is only blinking once, so we're fine. It takes about 30 minutes, they reckon. So it's also initializing the battery. Because it's an intelligent battery. Um, very clever. But it's not as easy as what people think when you buy them. They think, oh, you can fly it straight out of the box. You probably can, but I um, don't know. Mine was a firmware update, which I've done, which we're in the process of. Uh, we're going to fly it today, so we're going to do a full video of the flight mode and how to get started. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, we're up to 62%. Let's see that. Enough. When it asks you for the upgrade, um, like I said, you have to go take your Wi Fi out, go into your home Wi Fi, then come back and then upgrade the Phantom. To get the upgrade as well, it's like go to your home button. Uh, if some of you don't know, when you're on your uh, DJI website, uh, well, when you're in your, sorry, when you're in your DJI um, mobile app, right in this corner here, which you can't see now, but when you're in the app, it'll say a little picture of a house, I'm not being funny, just some people don't know, click on the home, and it'll say download, You can. it'll say you uh, upgrade is required, or a firmware update is required, download, it'll say how to do it, follow the on-screen instructions, then reconnect back to your um, Phantom 3. Okay, cheers. Okay, 79% or 80% now. And it looks like control unit unit is being firmware updated as well. Uh, also, the camera just went by the stick. <laughs> I was thinking what's going on. But as you can hear from the noise and the flashing lights, it's quite a substantial update. And um, we've got... Okay, let's return back to normal. And we're at 100%. And it says finish. So, please restart your aircraft and RC. So, I shall do that and I'll let you know. Okay, firmware update complete. Both reboot on the um, main copter and also the control unit. Um, we're back onto the software. It still said need update, forget it, just keep going and go into the screen, click the home. Uh, it still says on mine, if you can see that. Okay, update that's fine. Enter camera view. What was this here? I got it. Okay, enter camera view. Okay, it says safe to fly. I was going to calibrate, but I'll do that when we get out there. <clears throat> Um, also, I was, uh, was going to go to takeoff mode, and I've got pro I have no propellers on. Okay, I'm just learning as well. So, go to that. It'll say start takeoff because I'm going to cancel that for now. Also, I was told to do a little test to test the motors. So, what you do, you pull back on this one, down and across. This one, down and across, and your motors will come into play, uh, and that'll test if any noise or anything wrong with your motors. So, we'll do that now. I'll just put the camera down for a second. If you can see the control panel, you know, you'll listen. Just you just listen. Okay, so the motors are spinning, it says now safe to take off. That's just testing the motors. Okay, to stop, pull down on this one. 
and it stops it. And then release. So next will be a, uh, a flight test next. But what I'm going to do, because we've been 30 minutes on the upgrade, I'm going to now recharge both units. We both have a flashing light. Okay, get back to you. Okay, I've got both um, items on charge now. Um, <clears throat> when you go back into the software, DGI, uh, it kept saying that uh, required firmware update across the screen here. So I've rebooted the phone totally and it's got rid of it. So then what you do is slide across, find your copter, press down, standard three, um, ready to go. So when I reconnect now, I'll enter camera mode and I can fly the vehicle, the helicopter, from my own device. Okay. So if you're worried about that firmware update, reboot your phone and that should get rid of it. Okay, cheers.